I did would... she tell you how tall he is? Um, he looks tall enough. He's is like he a like firefighter five, five? Like in the military. Yeah, stuff, okay, like... that probably means he's five, six, or seven. I, she, showed, she showed me a photo. He looks tall in the photo. Or like... Was he standing next to people? No. Did you have any comparison? That's actually, I just no, looked at it, yeah. She's five seven, and so she's a little taller than everybody. Yeah, she'll stand by. The one that looks right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has her little search meter on a hundred plus miles? Yeah, honestly, she's, just, I mean, she's not like, I think because she's had such a like horrible success rate, right? like for basically 10 years straight, like more or less. She's like not like funny and playful and like cute and flirty. Like, you have to be lighthearted. Like, guys don't want like a wet blanket to start, but you can't tell a friend that. Like, perk it up, bitch. Like, well, wait, how did she respond to that? To me, to what? To him saying, I hope you're not a giant. Oh, she was like, huh, huh, like, yeah. Oh, God. And, like, doesn't it say how tall you are around the person? Yeah, I mean, not many people can lie, but still, like, and I even said to her, I was like, obviously, as a short person, I don't have any context of, like, it and is, he's just uh, joking. Is, he's, yeah. like, trying to be lighthearted. Right, so, right. Who knows? And then instead of taking it, like, immediately, like, to her corp, and then I just, like, go in his face, like, what makes you think I want to fucking hold your hand? Right, like, right, right. You're already jumping five steps. What? Well, you're fucking alien to me. Like, you are a stranger. Or just, like, I lost my hand in a really bad accident. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, like, well, how short are you? Like, can you not reach me? Like, or, yeah, just yeah. throw it back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm pulling you up. Why are you yelling that? It's supposed to be a secret. Why don't you put your show on?
All right, welcome. It's Sunday. We're here. We're streaming. We're back. Appreciate you guys all uh, coming to join. Um, we have a pretty fun one planned. I'm excited about it. Um, this is a fun little sauce night, so getting stoked about that. Um, per usual, we're starting off with a drink. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a wild cocktail. Um, we're we're doing a fish dish tonight, so I wanted to keep it a little classy, and we're going to be doing a uh, Pinot Noir for the uh, kind of drink of choice tonight. This is from, obviously, Portland, Portlandia. Um, I really like the label. Label caught me. Label kind of made the decision for me here. It says 72% of the grapes are from Washington, and 28% are from Oregon. So... Um, I'm excited. We're using a little bit of this in the sauce and the rest of it, uh, we're gonna, we're going to, uh, share tonight. So, cheers. What's up, Katie? Good to see you. What's up, Philbert? Good to see you as well. All right, so we're jumping right into it. We have a beautiful Chilean sea bass filet. Oops. Look at this white fish. It looks absolutely insane. Nice and thick too. So we're gonna be doing a uh, seared sea bass with this parsley cream sauce split with a parsley oil. And the the thing about this is the look. Like, I love the look of this sauce. It's going to be this, like, light green cream sauce with this dark green oil. Um, and it's going to be, uh, like, broken on purpose, so to speak, here. We're going to have a crispy potato kind of topper. I'm not entirely certain how that's going to go, so we'll see how it turns out. But that is the plan tonight. Um, the thing we want to get going first... Is gonna be this parsley oil. It takes a little bit longer than the rest. So I already have some uh, water boiling. We're just gonna quickly blanch our parsley. I'm gonna get some ice water going here too. You're drinking white wine as well, Katie? Cheers. See that. Yeah, I love sea bass. I can't wait. It's going to be this like crispy skinned bottom. Crispy skinned bottom. That's hilarious. Um, the crispy skin like piece of it. And then this like white flaky gorgeous fish that's going to go well with it. And it's just going to like fall apart as you kind of pick, uh, kind of pick into it here. So... Um, we're going to quickly blanch our parsley. The reason why we blanch it is it's going to um, really give this like green color pop and then just like quick kind of par cook on it there. And then we're going to add oil and blend it and strain it. And we just need to let it strain for a while to kind of get to where it needs to be. So that's why we're doing this first. moment to say hello to Teddy Blanco. Oh. It's getting so big. We went on a big adventure today. We went to Starbucks like last weekend, got a little puppuccino. And then we went and ran for like 45 minutes in a big yard and then we went home and had a bath and now he's all soft and fluffy. Oh. Look at how big this guy's getting. All right. All right, so we got our water boiling. I'm just gonna give this like a little rough chop. And then into our water. 
And we're not going to cook it very long. Mix her around, bring her back up to heat. Honestly, a couple seconds. Dude, Teddy Blanco, every, I swear, every day he grows, like, gains at least half a pound. Maybe, maybe a pound, it feels like. He is officially three months today. The fifth, yep, 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 the fifth. All right, this has been here about 30 seconds, long enough. We're gonna strain. And then into the ice bath to stop the cooking here. Oops. All right, we're just gonna let that uh, chill for a minute. Big Ted. <laughs> Now, we're gonna do about a half a cup of oil. Um, when I think about this, I think about oil in a few ways. Um, am I gonna be heating the oil that like changes my decision? Am I gonna be, is the oil gonna be like for tasting here that might change my decision as well? Um, this oil, we are going to be using it for flavor opposed to heat, so we're gonna use olive oil um, we're just going to use the rest of this. And then we also have some more olive oil. I think about this is there enough oil in here for it to like actually blend probably should have used my little ninja guy but oh well we're gonna add just a little bit more how much do we have left of this just to cover the blades Paper towel down. I'm gonna take our parsley and just squeeze as much water out of it as we can. And then onto the paper towel and the rest of this. All right, into the paper towel to get the last bits of water out, or as much of it out as we can. To the blender we go. All right, and let's see if we can 
get this in the frame. Random chatters. most vibrant let's see if this looks any better we got this bright green oil all right so basically next is the oops, the straining process um, first time I made this I basically uh, used a cheesecloth strained it we're gonna do that same thing but I basically like squeezed out and rang out the cheesecloth cheesecloth as much as I could um, and you're not supposed to do that. The reason being is all the sediment and it like forces pieces of the plant through the cheesecloth. And we don't want that. We want this like pure oil only oil. Um, and I actually read that or saw that from Thomas Keller. And ever since then, obviously I don't do that anymore. So we're gonna have, we have our cheesecloth here. I have it folded over a couple times. We're gonna be putting that in our you know the title of this my favorite little strainer look at how fine that mesh is okay put it in here we got our little bin on the other side and then we're just going right on in Let's see if I can hold this and get a spatula. Let's do this actually. Awesome. You guys can already see this oil. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oil coming through here. Um, and this is what we're going to use to kind of split our cream sauce. Normally you don't want your sauce split. It means it's broken and no good and you throw it out. Um, but if you have, I guess, enough oil, the, uh, the split makes sense. So a little bit of oil or a little split, not great, but a lot of split, not too bad. Um, so that's the plan here. So we're just going to let this sit the rest of the night until we're ready to present. And then hopefully we're in a good spot with the straining piece there. Cheers. All right. The next thing I want to get going is going to be the crema or this cream sauce. Um, we have a parsley oil and then we have this like crazy parsley cream sauce we're going to do as well. Um, I got this chinois. Well done. Did you have to look up the spelling before you could uh, type it in the chat? Because I would have had to done the same thing. Um, but yeah, chinois is the fine mesh strainer. Well done. Um, so with the cream sauce, uh, where was I going with this? I'm going to, where are we at? Um, I'm going to riff on this a little bit per usual. 
one of my like favorite YouTubers that I follow. His name is, uh, or his title is like Jules Cooking, J U L E S Cooking. Um, and he just has these really awesome videos that make the cooking like look so easy and simple and fun. And he just cuts it and edits it really well. Um, so we're, we're stealing one of his kind of sauces or recipes here, but we're obviously going to mix it up a bit. So let's see burners right here. We just have pure chicken stock. Um, this is a fish dish. So I do want to incorporate some fish into this. Um, let's turn our heat on. Let's get this guy kind of boiling here. Um, so we'll bring him up to heat. We're going to have some orange rinds. We're going to add those in there. I think that makes sense. Um, we also... How do I want to do this? Let's cut up my... We're going to cut up my veg first before I cut up the fish, but we are going to add fish, like my fish trimmings to it. Um, reason being is I do, I think it makes sense to make this like more of a fish stock opposed to just like a basic chicken stock here. So, um, part of this has a lot of the parsley stems, more of the flavor is in the stems, more of the like color beauty is in the kind of flower there. So we're going to keep the stems here for now. And then the flour we're going to set aside. And then um, this dish is basically gonna be like shallot, onion, cream, stock, salt, and that is about it, or in wine, excuse me. Um, we're keeping it extremely simple, and I really hope, or I think that that is gonna be like one of the kind of reasons why this sauce is gonna work so well. Um, so we're gonna use a little bit of the onion here just to flavor the stock, or the, the shallot, excuse me. And I don't really care about look, so we're just putting it right in there. Um, let's see what else. We also are going to throw a bay leaf in here, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. Okay. And then like I said, the, the other kind of main component of this sauce is going to be shallot. So we got a couple shallots here. I'm just gonna do a quick fine, maybe julienne. And then we will be blending and straining this at the end here to uh, release the flavor and then release the color into the kind of cream stock or cream sauce. Are these also not the biggest shallots you've ever seen? I went to Whole Foods and honestly it took me a while to even find the shallots and then they also, they just look gargantuan. If you ever go to like an Asian grocery and get shallots, they're the smallest shallots you've ever seen. So I'm always, I'm always curious about that. It's like the bigger, I don't know if that's always the best, you know? All right, so we got our shallots kind of peeled. Like I said, I think I'm just going to do a really basic version of a julienne, like nothing that really matters here. The reason being is we're gonna be blending it. I swear the same thing, the smaller ones have more flavor. And I really need 
rarely need like a full onion sized worth of a shallot. So in this situation, it's fine. But yeah, I feel the same way. These are, I'm like always skeptical. Same with like strawberries. When you see strawberries and they're like just this massive strawberry, rarely tastes that great. I don't know. Looks great. We got our stock coming into heat, coming up to heat, excuse me. Let's clean this up a bit. All right, let's get some oil in here. Clean some of this up. Now that we have all of our veg cut, let's move this, actually, throwing this guy in the pan, and break him up. Salting the pan. And we're just gonna let that start to come up to heat here. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was trim up our fish, especially now that we have all of our veg figured out. A um, couple things. I love the thickness. I want this to be like a plump perfect little center cut. We're gonna cut up the edges here, keep the skin on. Um, and then we're gonna put the excess little trimmings in here and have it uh, really add to the stock. That's the, the thought or the plan. Um, you'll notice I did not add pepper to this. We're just adding salt, just encouraging the onion flavor. Um, pepper is a season. A seasoning, you, you, you taste that, that peppery flavor from it. Salt is more of an enhancer. You shouldn't ever really taste the salt. Um, it should bring out the flavor, opposed to actually adding a type of flavor to a dish. Who doesn't love the thickness, honestly? Every time I add shallots to my cart and do the Instacart, Look at a man, they give me onions, that's hilarious. This one time I was checking out at Safeway, and it was also a man, and he was uh, ringing up my shallot, and he was struggling. And then like after like 30 seconds to a minute, he just like turns to me, and he's like, like, hey man, what is this? <laughs> I was like, that's a shallot. He had no idea like what, the, what to call the, uh, the ingredient. All right, just like little fish trimmings right into there. Now I have this like perfect, gorgeous fish steak. Um, this one's obviously a little bit bigger. We're gonna try to match.
All right, beautiful. Let's get our fish back on these guys. I haven't finished Hogwarts yet. I haven't played since last weekend. I still have the, I don't know how to say his name, the like Ragnarok, the troll dude. I do like Imperia, I won't lie. I was curious how they would uh, incorporate it because you like get control of the person, right? Um, but I like their kind of take on Imperia. I know Lauren finished the game and then just restarted it to play again. I was like, oh god, I don't know if I could do that right away. Alright, so we're just sweating out the onions still. The other thing we're doing is these like potato... Oh, hey Lauren. So many hours. Yeah, dude, I don't know if I could start again right away. The other thing we're doing is these potato kind of uh, really thin curly cued strips. We're gonna deep fry them and hopefully that's like, looks good on the top, we'll see. I'm not sold on it here yet, so bear with me. But we'll use the rest of our oil in here. Let's get our blender back out. I just started playing Fortnite again. I needed a break from For uh, Hogwarts. Alright, these are looking good. I'm going to salt them a little bit more. We're turning up the heat a touch. Let's turn the heat down on this guy. We're about to deglaze. Uh, you'll notice there's no like fond on the bottom here. I'm okay with that. There's a little bit. Um, really, we want the color to be as like white and green as possible. So any fond is gonna add this like brown to it. So really, we're just sweating, steaming the uh, shallots here. Now we have our Pinot Grigio that we're drinking. We're gonna deglaze. Doesn't look like quite enough. Brubu is Katie Davis from Newport. So we have our wine deglazed. The wine is gonna be our vinegar piece or our acid. We're also gonna have the fat from the cream. We have the salt already, and then we have the savory from this. We're gonna add a bay leaf. Once this reduces completely, and all we see is the onion again. It's Katie with a C, Lauren. So close, so close. Um, once all we can see is the onion again, no liquid, then we're going to add our stock and our cream and our parsley stems and kind of get that going. All right, let's get our oil at least uh, kind of like flirting with the idea of being the right temperature. 
I'm not sure how this is going to work. But we'll figure it out. I'm really excited about this fish, though. I can't wait. <laughs> Lord, I'm giving you shit. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Cheers to everyone uh, here partaking, joining. Take a look at our oil. How nice and dark. You guys see that all right? Dark green, gorgeous oil. Smells good. We're getting there. We're getting there. Fish is gross. That's hilarious. What about shrimp? Or uh, any seafood that you are okay with? <laughs> it's fine. We're just judging. <laughs> One of these streams, we're going to do an all raw dish where it's just going to be tartar this, tartar that, carpaccio this, carpaccio that, sashimi this. We're just going to do a little raw stream. We're going to do a raw stream and then we're going to do a vegan stream just to show the range, flex the range a bit. Clam chowder is fun. If you eat a clam in the chowder, are you okay with it? Or are you like spitting it out and like putting it in the the, <laughs> the sink? All right, we're reducing well. We are reducing well. I can still see liquid here, so we're gonna keep on keeping on, but we're getting there. And then eventually we're gonna strain Everything we got going into this guy, into here. And get that guy going. No spitting in the chowder. Appreciate that. I haven't made chowder on stream before, I don't think. Chowder's always like a... Uh, Fall. I feel like fall dish. Cold fall. I know it's still cold, but it doesn't feel right to have it right now. All right. While we're kind of waiting here, let's see if we can uh, get our potato figured out. This is the part that I'm the most worried about, if I'm being honest. hilarious that this like <laughs> all right we got a good little spiral action going now my thought is is I want to get this into like a almost like a nest
and see if these are easier to fry in this kind of manner. These like little nest actions. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how those turn out. Let's take a look at this. These are all looking, I see a little liquid, not that much. We got it like most of the way reduced. Let's do a little quick flip. All right, let's get this stock. Gorgeous, okay. Turn your heat up. We want this to come up to heat. Let's give this a quick taste. See if we're anywhere near where I want it to be. Wow, that's super good. Salt needs to be more. Katie, are you going to AZ for spring training? Is that the plan? Let's get our parsley stems in there. Got a lot of them. All right. And we're just gonna let those kind of soften, kind of all play out. Going to AZ for spring training. Is that the plan? We got a multitasker in the chat. It's all right. All right, we're keeping these potatoes as leftovers in case these go sideways on us. Um, I, I don't know if I want to, do I like flour these or like sprinkle these with flour? Maybe. Yeah, I'm assuming you're going to watch baseball, even though I've said it three times. Um, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Are you going with the roommate? Peace out, Philbert. Thanks for hanging. Good to see you. Glad you're back. We got to kick it one, uh, maybe next weekend if you're still around. I know you have Colorado. Maybe you're in Colorado. Peace out, dude. <laughs> All right, our, our sauce base is up to heat. We're adding cream. We're adding... I'm doing less than the recipe called for. Again, I'm riffing on this. I'm doing what feels right. Um, but hopefully that doesn't throw things off here. And basically we want this to come up to a boil or like a low simmer. And then about 15 minutes worth of kind of uh, simmering here before we even think about blending it, things like that.
after cleaning, we're also going to preheat our oven, 375. We're finishing our fish in the oven. Um, that's going to just encourage this flakiness. And it's just honestly the way to do it. We're gonna pan sear to crisp up the skin and then uh, finish her in the oven here. Let's get this guy kind of cleaned up and cleaned off. Turn this guy down, finally bubbling, looking good. All right, let's give this guy a stir. It's been bubbling for maybe a minute or two. Let it kind of keep coming together. Clean while you go, exactly. Love a moment for cleaning. Look how deep green that is. We just have this light green cream colored cream sauce and then this deep green parsley oil split. I'm excited. I can't wait for it. All right, so we have our oil slightly heating, just slowly. We're gonna slowly bring her up to temp. Let's put the thermometer in there, see where we're at. We're climbing, we're climbing, we're almost 220. Still climbing. Two fifty. Just at about 270. Where's my towel? Ugh. All right, just at about 300. We're hoping for 350, 360. When we drop it, it will like reduce the heat just a touch, but we're hoping for right around that mark. Woo. All right, just spill everywhere, I love that. All right, let's get another taste on this guy. Hit it with more salt. All right, it's been going for about seven minutes now. About seven minutes more.
And then let's start getting the uh, rest of this put together here. All right, let's take a look at this fish. Let's get some new paper towels. Oh, I'm the paper towel king. Bounty, where you at? I want that sponsorship. All right. Let's go skin side down and get as much water off that side as we can. All right, the question is, do I score the fish skin or do I not score the fish skin? What we're going to do is we're going to do skin side down all the way. Finish it in the oven. The top is never going to touch the, the oil. I want a clean white presentation um, with the crispy skin. The issue is... I really thought I had cucumber and we we're going to do this like beautiful like mandolin cucumber slices in this like layered circle. That was going to be the base. I don't have cucumber. I don't know if you could tell where the story was going, but yeah, don't have cucumber, unfortunately. And we're going to sit the, the crispy uh, fish on top of that cucumber base. So it's a little bit elevated and then the sauce all around, which is going to obviously disencourage the skin to become soggy but we don't have cucumber so that's not obviously the case so i'm even i'm like contemplating do i put a lot of time and effort into holy shit our oil is max temp all right we're taking it off the heat for a while all right that's annoying um okay oh well so I think I do want to score it maybe one, two slices on the diagonal. That's just going to kind of encourage evenness in the cooking um, as well as uh, like almost making certain that the, the skin is crispy there. But will it stay crispy when it's sitting in the sauce is the question. Um, so let's do the score. I think I do like... I want to do this. All right, just some basic cuts. Nothing that's going to really make or break anything, but it's going to really help with the evenness of cooking here. So let's get these all kind of cleaned up again. Just see all of the water continuing to come out of here, which I love. Okay, these look great. Let's turn this heat up a little bit more. How are these feeling? They do feel tender. What's our time at? It's been about 10 minutes, about four more minutes. Four to five more minutes. And then we can start blending that guy. Whoops. 
All right, our oil is slowly coming down from max heat. Like, what the heck was that about? All right, let's taste this guy again. I love it. I already get the fishiness from the the brother, and like fishiness isn't the right word, um, but that like subtle flavor of the the fish that we'll be cooking with. So. Um, I'm stoked about that. That tastes really good so far. All right, our oil is down to about 380, which is kind of where we want it. Um, putting it just back on the burner, the heat is on like one. So we'll see how, let's just put our first, I'm just trying to encourage them to stay together. All right, let's get our fish seasoned. We're going, uh, keeping it basic. Salt. And pepper. I just really want this uh, fish to shine here and just really have it be like fish and sauce. And this crunchy potato, obviously. Let's take a look at that. We're starting to just starting to brown. I'm gonna go a little bit longer and then we'll flip it. What are we doing on time here? I think we're good. And I'm just gonna let that rest and sit and cool a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna blend it here and strain it back into here, reduce, that's the thought. All right, our oil is not hot enough per usual. What am I doing, what am I doing, which one? All right. We're doing the flip. Hopefully you guys can see that. Got that nice, gorgeous brown. I switched wines, by the way. We're doing a French Chateau. This is the one Philbert got me. Um, he's not here anymore, but cheers. Thank you, Philbert. Now I'm just salting the top of our fish here. 
not even going to pepper the top. I don't want any weird colorings. Let's take this first guy out. It might be too tight of a bunch, too crispy, too too crunchy. We'll see. I might try to like layer out and kind of thin out the the next one here. can't see this but I'm doing the pour so this is our cream sauce mixture let's see if you guys can watch and see this all right a couple things with blending hot liquids It tends, this is basic, uh, basic chemistry. Molecules are already hot and running around. It's just gonna encourage it to volumize and like overflow and blow out. So um, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna do on variable, low, and we're gonna blitz it a little higher. You can already see it popping through. And then you also need to kind of burp it or steam it. We're doing the initial blitz and then we're adding all of the other parsley we have here. All right, this needs to be taken off. Let's add our second one in, and we're gonna try to spread that one out a little bit more. All right, turn this down. Let's take our lid off, let it air out just for a second. And then our first batch. I think we're good so far. All right, that's going well. Let's add just like a little bit of the rest of this. Let it breathe and air out a bit.
Alright, how are we looking? We're looking nice and green, but I want to blitz a little bit more. I want to get all of the uh, parsley as much in there as possible. You guys can't see this. All right, we're just straining this into our saucepan here. And just remove, like, moving about all of the oops, little pieces. Make sure you don't spill any. All right, let's take a look at these guys. A little bit longer. All right, let's get our fish oil, the oil for our fish kind of ready here. A little bit longer on heat. This is looking gorgeous. Turn this heat back on. See what she comes up to be. All right. Nice little flip. All right, so we got some oil here. Still coming up to temp, not quite where I want it. That's okay, we got time. We're letting it, uh, just letting it do its thing. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we got time to move this guy. A couple moments for cleaning here. Puppy, do you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to this train? Does that look good? Yeah. All right, let's get this last guy in here. See how he turns out. A little sodium for that guy. See our oil temp, 
turn it up a little bit more. It's uh, way too low. Okay. Let's see what this guy tastes like. Really bright yet subtle. Has the subtle sweetness with the savory in the background. Oh man, I love this. Okay. We're just gonna keep letting him reduce. Let's get our fish in here. Like I said, I'm really excited about this one. Thank you all for hanging out per usual, as always. It means a lot. All right, the fish is slowly but surely coming up to temp. Give me one second. We're bubbling on the edges here. This looks great. Let's see what plates I want to use. I think we're gonna use the little bowl guys here. I think that makes the most sense. Oops. Let's take a look here. Yeah, still needs some more time. That's a good time. That is a good time. Hot ones challenge. Lauren, don't even tempt me. Don't even tempt me. Should we uh, golf before? I don't know. Seems like a good idea, but I don't know. We should definitely do the hot ones again. Especially with uh, your lineup, you got all the sauces, like, that could be the move. All right, let's get a flip on these guys. Turn this guy down. All right. We're just lifting him, making sure the oil all stays under there. And we're looking good, we're looking great. Golf then wings, yeah, that sounds so fun. You have some pretty crazy hot ones, right? Like, do you recall the hottest one or is it the uh, last dab still considered the hottest? Hell yeah. All right, B or B. This is all looking great.
Yup. Yeah, the bomb is the most terrifying one of them all. It just, like, attacks you. And I'm pretty sure that one has, like, more vinegar than usual. There's something wrong with that one that it's just so annoying. Yeah, I can't wait to eat. I won't lie, it does smell really good. I'm pretty stoked about this one. Pretty stoked. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Oh man. Probably too dark for what we want here, but that's why we make multiple. Oh well. Oh well. I think these are the ones, but. Yeah, but I don't. I'm still worried it's going to look weird on top. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It does smell good. Okay. Let's do a little bit of... We're feeling good, we're feeling good. We're in a good spot. Lauren can smell it too, she says. I love that, I love that. <laughs> Do we have anything going on next weekend, let me know? I'm gonna be out of town. Yes. Devin's <laughs> out of town next weekend, Lauren, just me and you. First, and the dog. And the dog, and the dog. <laughs> so we might not be able to golf, actually. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Of course, I don't remember what I put on the fish. We're going a little bit longer. Let's turn our heat up just a little bit more. A um, couple more minutes, and then we're switching it into the oven. Be in good shape. Time for Theo to be a golf, golf course dog, honestly. Do they love dogs? No. But it would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. That'd be a sick, uh, sick setup. He is big enough now. We'll see. He's no longer a puppy. He does not look like a puppy anymore. Oh, I know. If you like, see him He's full on. Him. Yeah. Three months Just today. Alright, slowly but surely getting there. Have you seen golf courses with dogs? If, dude, Lauren, if that's the case, we're doing it. We are 100% doing it, if that's the case. No sticking. We're going to strain it one last time, the green sauce here at the end. All right, I really want to take these off, but I'm worried. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. All right, these two gorgeous fillets were about like a third of the way cooked. 
just from the bottom up and then we're going to finish in the oven 375 maybe 10 minutes here and that should really get us into this like gorgeous flaky awesome situation you pay enough you bring your dog yeah we'll slide them a couple we got to get like a duffel, I don't know, we need to get like a bag to like throw, put them in and then once we're on like the second or third hole, we'll be fine. You know what I mean? I think he's cute enough. He's really going to turn him away. And who is going to turn him away? Exactly. <laughs> Not a mom's bias. A mother's bias. <laughs> Alright, let's give this another taste. See where we're at. I like the thickness. Lovely, insane. Parsley subtle enough. Sweetness is there, savoriness is there, the creaminess. And it's just gonna be this oil. Yep. Yeah. Not like overly I would've I would have thought it would have more of a parsley flavor. It's, it's super it's subtle. Really but I'm into it. I'm into it. I think the salt is just enough too, mm -hmm. right? And then this will be a little bit more, more salty. Mm -hmm. Young Theodore. Mm -hmm. Young Teddy Blanco. Look at how big he is. Too big. Three months today, to the day, the fifth. Also, I forgot to look at what time. Probably 21 after we put it in. I'm thinking 10 minutes. Did you want me to keep track of it? I'm just saying. Okay, yeah. I'll Do you think it. I put it in about a minute or two ago? What is it that you put in there? The fish. Um, the sure. very, the most important thing. Sure, I was in, I was paying attention to the dog. It's fine. <laughs> Classic. Dude, I forget the timing on everything. It's bad news. Lauren, what are you doing different on... Remember the time? Dude, and I've... Remember how I repeat everything too? Are you doing anything different on the new Hogwarts go-through? I still need to, like, log back on and beat the, uh, the final little rag rock dude. Um, and then I want to finish all the side quests too. I think that's the plan. And you, you seem to have like found way cooler armor and like, uh, cloaks and shit than I have. Exploring more in the beginning. Yeah, when Katie was in here, she was at like level 25 and she hadn't done any of the main quest yet. She'd only done side quests basically. So just like leveled up hard. And like honestly that might be the move and then once you come to like anything serious you're like way set up well oh the fish looks so good I can't freaking wait All right, I think I want to strain some of this. Yeah, for sure, dude, I agree. Did you like get good at switching between your like set of four spells to your next set of four spells to your next set of four spells and so on? That was like the hardest part for me to get like comfortable with. I feel like okay at it now, but my uh, dude just takes too much damage. I need more wiggle wogglins or like whatever the potion name is. Alright, I like that. 
Some of it still came through, it looked like, but not nearly as much. A little bit of that. And I think I am okay with the thickness. Devin hasn't created a character yet. She, dude, okay, I'm trying to get her into playing video games. Um, she's not an FPS player like us. What's, what, any other game that you've played that's, like, not shooter games that you might recommend? Oh, dude, that's sick, that's sick. Yeah, the only one I'm thinking of is, like, Animal Crossing. She likes Sims. I don't know if Sims is out for PlayStation, or, uh, Xbox, probably, right? Maybe it's on Switch. Yeah, yeah. I just bought FIFA. Do you play FIFA at all? I've been playing FIFA a little bit. Alright, it's been maybe five minutes. A little bit longer. It is feeling toughed up, though. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about FIFA. It's fun, but it's like it's like kind of repetitive and slow and the same thing over and over. But yeah. All right, let's look at our oil here. Pretty excited about this. Yo, the Jones fight was insane, Lauren. Did you watch it at all? There was a couple fights. The uh, the co-main event, the two girls, where one was Chevchenko and one was the Gabas, or however you say her name. Dude, both fights were so insane. I just don't get how John Jones is so good. Like, I don't know if people are just scared of him, and that's why they don't perform well, but, like, that... It was dumb. Like, I, it looked like I would have done better against him than fucking uh, Cyril did. Cyril again. Literally two minutes and a fucking get choked out guillotine against the cage, like, standing. Like, that was so insane. Just insane to me. But really good to see, really good to see. Dude, I would be broken, I, dude, I would have been running around the cage, just running away from him the whole time. <laughs> oh man, but no, really fun to watch, really fun to watch. I hope he uh, continues on and gets a couple more fights soon, we'll see. Because he took no damage. Literally no damage. But the girl fight right before that was so cool to me. And she was number six. She just had like the craziest last five fights. And then she won. And like it was a great back and forth. And she got her back at the end and just like tucked the girl's chin into her own throat. Exactly. He did not need any wiggle and Wigan Wad potion. Not one bit. What a great name for a potion, too. Gotta say, gotta say. Alright, how we doing? How we doing? It's almost ten minutes. Maybe we're at about eight and a half. I'm gonna crank the heat right at the finish here. And then we'll plate and get on with our evening. Oh, thanks for hanging, Lauren, appreciate you. Are you watching anything right now? We need to find a movie or something to watch. Also, Chris Rock, new comedy special on Netflix was great. 
the last 15 minutes, he goes off on Will Smith and the slap. It was uh, it was fun to watch. But yeah, new on Netflix if you want to catch that. Watch the guilty movie show. What's what's the what's the deal? Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, sounds like a movie. Movie perfect. I love movies over shows. Okay, the guilty. Perfect. This sounds perfect. All right, I'm just watching the fish like a hawk here. I turn the broiler on low. And we're just gonna let it finish coming up to heat here. We're gonna give this another taste. Where's my spoon? Turn this off actually. When we serve it, we want it to be warm and not hot and not to do anything weird to the fish or the, uh, excuse me, uh, the rest of the sauce and the oil. Hell yeah, perfect. Netflix, perfect. Is it new, Lauren, at all? I feel like it seems kind of new. The Guilty. Is he a lawyer? An attorney? Just starting to crisp up. All right, I don't cook fish often. This is an interesting thickness. Hopefully uh, this turns out well. I also don't mind if it is slightly underdone in the center. Devin will probably mind, so we'll see. <laughs> Copter 911 operator. Hey, honestly, it sounds kind of familiar. And he like gets a call and he like thinks it's more serious and uh, no one believes him maybe I forget it sounds familiar I might have seen it ooh just starting to oh this is perfect absolutely perfect okay so see how it's just starting to peel like kind of come apart and like actual flake off itself this is exactly where we want it all right so let's get this set and rested we've got a couple minutes here let's get um some things put away and help my night be not so busy cleaning Kaleidoscope. Okay, I definitely have not seen Kaleidoscope. Um, that one's supposed to be kind of trippy, I feel like, right? Oh, wait, Kaleidoscope. That's the one you can watch it in any order. And, like, no matter what, it will, like, make sense. Except, like, the last two, I think. Last two episodes you have to watch, but, like, any order. Um, is that what you did? Did you watch it any specific way? Okay, yeah, I definitely did not see that one yet. Maybe that's in the move tonight.
Oldest to newest. Interesting. Okay. Let's get this plated. Was it, and it was fun the way, the order you watched, like you enjoyed it? You wouldn't recommend a different order? Cause I might just do the same as you did. Deal looks like a little fuzzy. That looks better. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so crispy. Wow. Okay. Not the right plates. Already hate the plates. Now we have this parsley oil and our cream sauce. Let's get a, where's my spoon? Give me a spoon. And we're gonna take a, quite a bit and pour it in here, almost all of it, let's do all of it. This looks gorgeous. Absolutely insane. All right, so we have our Chilean sea bass, pan seared, crispy skin. Then we have the, uh, we baked it in the oven. We have these like crispy shoe fried uh, potatoes. Then we have our parsley cream sauce with split with a parsley oil. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a closer look. I like this camera a little better sometimes. Thank you all for hanging out. Pobo Mojo, yo, what's up? Appreciate you coming to coming to the end of the stream here as we wrap up. Yo, it's been fun. Sundays only, 5 p.m. Pacific, moving forward. Yo, you gotta put on a Jurassic Park plate. Thank you. My The first thing I said was my plating sucks. This was the wrong plate. I need like a bigger, you're right. You're exactly right. Next time. We'll, uh, we'll learn from our mistakes. But no, I appreciate you, Lauren. Thanks for hanging out. Pobo Mojo, appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the follow button. And uh, Devin, as always. <laughs> we're gonna eat, we're gonna finish the night, probably put on Kaleidoscope, see what that's all about. Um, but yeah, we'll be here next Sunday with a, a, new, a new meal to uh, yell at you about on how to make in the best possible way. All right, I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys as always. Have a good rest of the night, good weekend.